to my home studio. I am just going to go right into things. As far as materials, I have the chair for a little uh, stabilization. I have my mat. You might grab a, a band if you have a band or a, a towel. And um, otherwise, well, let's get started. Okay, we are going to start standing. We'll face one direction. You, of course, can face any direction, but the parallel position, circle those arms up toward the sky. Nice open stretch through the body. Open that chest up. Breathe into it. Dive that forward. Release the spine over. Feel free to bend your knees or keep your legs straight, whatever feels good. Shake that head out. Bend those knees just a little bit to get some mobility across the legs, the ankles, the knees, the hips. Do that one more time. Bend and extend a couple times. And then we're going to bend and walk all the way out into our plank position. Now you don't have to be in a plank here. You can be in a half plank, whatever works for you. Lower down through the spine. We're going to roll those shoulders back, lift up a little bit, open up that sternum. Breathe into it. Draw your hips back for a little child's pose. Stretch again. Nice deep breath in. Good. Exhale out. We're going to shift forward again. Right back through that kind of upward dog of yoga. Roll those shoulders back. Try to keep the length of the neck. Tuck those toes under. Draw your hips back. And kind of start to tread this out. One heel up, one heel down. Breathe into that. Keep treading through the feet here. Feel that mobility across the legs and the hips. Glad you could join me for this. Hope your bodies are feeling all right. Hope they'll be feeling better here soon. And we're going to shift forward to that plank. Find your plank one more time. Lower down one more time. Rise up through that upward dog one more time. And then pull those hips back. Stretch it out, child's pose. Good, we're gonna come to an all fours position here, making sure the shoulders are right over the wrists, the hips are right over the knees. Feel free to fold your mat in half if you need a little extra cushion or change up that positioning of the hands. We're going to round into the spine, the head and tail drop down toward the floor, the shoulders are wide, feel your belly kind of carving out, hollowing out, breathe it in, and then lengthen through the spine, and extend the other direction. Slide the shoulders down, reach the top of the head and the tail, and then repeat that. You're rounding into that back, feeling the mobility through the spine here, breathing into the side and back body. And then slowly releasing out in through that extension. We're going to do one more time. Round through it. Roll it up. Stretch it out. Shake it out. And then we'll come back to our neutral. Now I might run into this chair, so I'm going to just go ahead and kick that out a little bit. So we'll go into kind of a bird dog here. One arm reaching while the other leg reaches behind. And no one's going to run into that. Hold that position. Just starting to feel the abs really strong. Sliding the shoulders down. Good full breath in. We lower that down. Extend the other side. One arm, one leg. Feel your core strong. Think of lengthening through the top of the head, through the fingertips, and through the toes. So we've got a line of energy going in both directions and lower down. We'll keep going one more time, just like this. Starting to establish some balance, some core connectivity, getting that stability through the body. Good. I am gonna stay with my right leg and my left arm, only because I'm gonna swing to the side here and I'd be running into my wall and then return back. The arm and the leg are both going to reach to the side and return back. Now you can go just a few inches and kind of wave back and forth, trying to keep your leg so it's though it's kind of sliding over a tabletop as you go. Play with your range. I'm going to do just a few more here. 
We're going for eight to 10. So it doesn't matter how slow or fast you are. It just matters that you're keeping that quality movement. We'll lower it down. And for the sake of the fullness of this workout, I'm gonna switch sides. So here again, running into things, don't mind me. Reach that arm, reach that leg, and again, we're gonna sway one leg and one arm side to side. Try not to let it dip down. We wanna keep it lifted the whole time. Breathe with it. You can play with how far to the side you go. Reaching through it challenges your balance. Building that core strong is super important. You're gonna need that core for everything you're doing. We have just a couple more. Nice. One more time. And then bring that in, lower it down. Pull back, stretch out across the shoulders, the low back, fill that length through the body, roll up through the spine. Okay, we're gonna lie down on our back now. Go all the way down onto your back here, and then just wanna make sure that you're not gonna run into anything in your space. We're gonna keep that head lifted up if you need to. Always feel free to lower it down. One leg at a time, reaching out long. Remember, you can go higher for more support here. You go lower for more challenge. You're gonna find the challenge that works for you. Still keep your back connected through the mat there so the abs stay strong, the back stays connected all as well. The hands are sort of just there for a guide, really. You don't have to pull them in or anything. Just let those legs do the work. Now we're gonna bring our hands behind the head, add a little rotation. This is the uh, Pilates Five, the Fab Five, as I've heard it referred to. So that we get all of the ab work moving through the body. We're gonna switch to straight legs here. Breath is so important. So, you know, forgive me if I'm not talking as much. We'll do a couple more here. Then both knees are gonna tuck in. We're gonna extend them out, reach through it, circle it around. Breathe it out, breathe it in. Breathe it out, breathe it in. Again, you're still keeping your back in an imprint. Put your hands behind that head for some neck support here if you're feeling some strain. We'll do about four more. Three, two, and one, lower down. Now I did say fab five. So number five, you turn your legs so they're in an externally rotated position. Basically, you're making a diamond shape with your legs. Your hands are here at your uh, thighs, knees. Breathe it in. As you exhale out, you're gonna flex forward, extend those legs out long. The arms are gonna circle overhead and around while the legs We'll, we'll focus on the legs next time. This is a multi-part exercise. Breathe it in, exhale, breathe it out. Good, so while my arms are circling, I flex my feet, I rotate the legs into that outward position, point through those toes, come back to parallel, and then lower down. More endurance here. Inhale, and exhale. Breathe it in, and exhale it out. Lift a little bit more and then lower back down on that inhale. Breathe it out. Circle the arms, circle the legs inside the hip joint, lower down. You should feel some good core right about now. We're gonna go two more, breathe it out. Slide those shoulders down, 
circle through the legs, circle through the arms, lift a little higher, lower down, one more round, inhale, exhale, keep your core strong, breathe through it, and then bring everything in, hug your knees in, and stretch those legs long, nice work. Coming onto our stomachs. So we get just a little bit of movement through our spine now the opposite direction. And of course, if your abs are feeling tight, it's a nice way to stretch them. Here we will keep our arms, palms flat, elbows down by the waistline. Breathe in, slide the shoulders down, rise up a little. And when you rise up here, you should be able to lift those arms and lower them. So they're just sort of ornamental here. And then lower back down. Inhale, slide those shoulders. Exhale, rise up. Inhale, hold. Can you lift those arms? Lower down with your exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, hold here. Point through those toes. Keep those legs externally rotated. Send them out wide if you're feeling that in the low back. And then lower down. We're going to change this up a little bit. So now we're going to take a nice deep breath in. As we exhale, we're going to send the arms forward. We're going to hover. Then we're going to lift as we reach our fingers to our toes. So we breathe out. Breathe in. Keep that going. Exhale. Inhale. Two more like this. Exhale. Inhale. Rise up a little bit higher. One more. Exhale. Inhale. Hold here. Lift those legs. Roll the shoulders back, see if you can come a little bit higher, and then lower down. Pull back into that child's pose. Now, if you've got some low back tension, that might have been a little too much for you. You could go with a shorter range. You could keep your hands down and lift and lower the spine without putting as much pressure across your back. We're going to roll up through the spine here and work a little bit on a side bend. So as you come to your side bend, you're just lying on your side. Those legs can be straight or bent, whatever is kind of most stabilizing for you. Of course, straighter is gonna be more challenge. And you're gonna lie down. So now here you can take your hand and put it underneath your head for some neck support, or you can place it on the mat there, or the floor, because you might want it for this exercise. The hand, you want to make sure it's kind of in front of the chest area because you're going to press into that palm and you're going to lift up. Now you can keep that hand down to give you a little assistance and then just slide that arm out as you lower and lift. So let me show you that again. We lift, check that shoulder, slide it down, lower it back down. Now if you want more challenge, you can take your hand behind your head and we can lift and lower here. Now you're going to feel a lot through that arm as well as hopefully through that waistline. Good, now again, if that's like, hmm, I'd like a little bit more, you can keep your arms stretched out straight and then reach, 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 and lower back down. So you've got lots of options here. Breathe it out, breathe it in. We've done about six, so let's go for four more, your choice. And then again, if that's like uncomfortable for the hand, you can play around with different positionings through that palm, or just kind of keep it small. And I think we have one more here. Sometimes I lose count, forgive me, and lower that down. Guess what, other side. So we switch to the other side. So again, same thing, you get to choose that position. Pick your poison, as they like to say, right? Hand is there, we're gonna lift up, whoa. Now one side might be easier than the other side. Breathe it out. Breathe it in. You again, remember to put your hand down for a little extra support. Support your head and neck as well. I'm gonna say that's about four. Going for five. We have five more. Four more, breathe it out. Three more. I'm feeling this. Two. Good, last one. I should have also said that you could take that towel or t-shirt, whatever you brought, and put it underneath the hip there if you need a little extra cushioning. 
I always need a little extra cushioning. Uh, okay, let us continue. Come onto your back now, where we'll do a little bit of bridge work. Arms resting inside the body, making sure your neck is nice and long and supported here. No pressure in that neck and head area. And your knees are bent, feet are flat. <laughs> Excuse me, hip distance apart. We're gonna peel the pelvis up to our bridge position. So trying to feel that length across the front of the hips here. And watch the knees that they don't drop out. We're gonna keep them pointing toward the sky. Shift that weight forward, so pull that weight into the feet a little bit more and lower back down. And then keep that going, breathe it in. Exhale it out. Good. We'll just lower and lift two or three times, getting some mobility through the spine, kind of preparing ourselves for all the goodness that's to come. And we're gonna rise and stay lifted. Now this time you get to lower down halfway and lift, lower and lift, small pulse. Now as you lower, allow the knees to drop out and then pull that back together again. So lower and lift, but we've just added the knees. If that bugs the knees, just keep the lower and lift. Breathe it out. If you had a band, I know some people have bands at homes, at their homes, you could put a band around your thighs and just add a little bit more to the workout. Totally up to you. We're gonna do four more here. And three. And two, if this bugs the back, keep it a little bit lower and a little less intense. And that was a little, a one, one to grow on, folks. Hug those knees in, stretch into your lower back. We're gonna send our legs up high here. Now, as you're in this position, uh, feel free to come to a tabletop if that's a little bit more supportive for the low back or the hip flexors, sometimes they get a little tight. If you want your legs up, put a soft bend in the knees and that'll come out of the hip flexors. And then remember, hands can always come behind your head for some neck support. We are gonna go into our hundreds so it looks like this and you can do any variation. Start pumping with your inhale. And exhale. Good. In. And out. You want a soft bend into the elbows. Breathe out. Try to keep that flexion forward. Breathe it out. Slide the shoulders down. Exhale. If you want more challenge, lower just a little bit. Breathe it out. If you need a little break, inhale, tuck it in. Exhale, extend it out. Three more sets. Exhale. Two. And one. Last one, breathe it in. And out. And everything comes in. And again, one nice stretch for the lower back. Roll yourselves up, my people. We're gonna do a standing leg series. So if you need to, you might move your mat. I'm gonna to try to do it in this little space between my mat and my uh, wall here. Scoot that over just a little. And if you want, get that chair or something to kind of help stabilize you. Now, if you have a kind of a four leg I do, you might be able to slide your leg forward and back. Um, you might try putting a sock on, or you can put kind of that little towel, or if you have a glider, you can put that underneath your foot. So, we're going to start. We lean slightly forward. We have a hinge in our hips. We're going to take our leg back into a lunge and then come all the way forward again. Lunge it out and bring it forward. As you're going, watch that knee of the bending leg. We don't want it in front of the toes. We want to be able to wiggle our toes. You can have both hands here. I was just trying to keep this arm out of the way so you can see. We'll do four more. Kind of numbs out the toes a little bit. Two. And then one more. We're going to hold that back. And bend and extend. So you're keeping that bend in your standing leg. You're sending back and forth through that moving leg. And then I'm going to take that back a little bit, come
come upright and pulse it up. I'm doing everything in counts of 10, so it's totally up to you how you want to proceed. Good, now you're going to lift your forward heel, so both heels are lifted, and pulse. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We are not done yet. Shift that weight forward. We're going to lift that leg up and pulse, and pulse, and pulse. We have three two, and one, and then I'm going to just take a moment, cross that ankle at the knee, sit back into it, although really it's my other leg that's tight, gotta stretch that out, my standing leg is feeling it more than my moving leg, that is pretty normal, okay folks, other side, so back to that lunge, our leg drawing back to the lunge, we're getting that stretch into the hip flexor, and bringing it in. Breathe it out. And in. Get that full breath. Keep moving through the legs. Keep the spine long as much as you can. So you're thinking about your form all the way from the top of the head down through the toes. Good. We have three more. Two more. One more, we're gonna hold that. Bend and extend, try to stay deep in your standing leg. You can try to deepen that. Five, four, three, two. Keep that bend in your standing leg. Pull that leg in a little bit. Stand up tall, pulse it out. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, your forward heel lifts up, and again, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, not done. Shift that way forward, we lift it up, pulls it out, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, stand it up, stretch it out, whichever leg, both legs, whatever feels good for you. I'm gonna come to a standing position on the mat. We're gonna do just a little bit of a squat, so you have a slight rotation through the legs. Make sure the knees are in alignment with the toes here. We're gonna squat down and stretch those legs up. Now, as you're going here, make sure your spine stays long. Your butt does drop back, almost like you're gonna sit down into a chair. Keep that breath going. We have four more, three more, two, one more, and then we're gonna take this one down and stay there. Hold that position, pulse it out. Little pulse, watch those knees, keep them wide. We have four, three, two, one. Stretch those legs straight. Oh, shake it out. I have a little bit of uh, filling it. Filling it through my legs is what I'm trying to say. We're gonna come to some side body work again. So your forearm, is right beneath the shoulder. You can come from the knees and lift and lower, or you can go straight legs and lift and lower. So hand can be down as you lift here, or you can lift that arm up and over as you go. I'm gonna do the full arm reaching as we go. Breathe out. Trying to get that arc through the body. One more like this. Now you can continue doing any variation here, or you can try to kind of tuck that arm in and then open it up. A little thread of the needle. We have three, two, and one more time. Woo, lower that down. All right, did not.
not bring my water, so note to self for next time. Keeping those legs either bent or straight, let's go to the other side. We reach through it. Now remember, you can keep your hand down if you need to. We'll do three more. Two. One more time. Now we're gonna stay here. Now if you'd like to, continue doing what you did or thread the needle. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last one. Good. And we lower everything down. Bring yourself back upright. Bend those knees. If it's comfortable for you to sit, just kind of in a, a loosely cross-legged position. Round in that spine. You're going to draw chin toward the chest. Drop that weight forward. Release the spine and stretch it out. You can put a light pressure into the knees here to give them that little press down, but no bouncing. We want to avoid bouncing. It's not as good on our joints. And then we're going to reach up and over, stretch it out to one side, long reach, long stretch. And up and over to the other side. All right, my people, thanks for joining me for this mini Pilates sesh. I'll see you next time.